Okay, let's talk about camshaft firing order today. Uh, so the reason I'm doing this video is uh, I, I've been seeing a lot of posts lately on Facebook about, uh, you know, can you take a non-HO firing order camshaft, slap it in a Fox body, you know, an EFI Fox body with a stock computer, uh, you know, and, and is there a way to make it run? Uh, so the short answer is without a tune, no. Uh, with a tune, yes. But what we're talking about today is is no tuning. Just is there something you can do, run it right off the stock computer, will it work? And the answer is no. And here's why. So let's start by talking about the firing order. So essentially you have eight cylinders. It's a V8 car. And the computer has programming that says, okay, what cylinder am I going to fire first? And in the HO firing order, it would be cylinder number one. And then it says, cool. Okay, when I'm ready to fire the next cylinder, which cylinder do I fire? It would be cylinder number three and, and so forth and so on. So essentially it's going to fire them cylinder one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight in the HO firing order, which is what came on the Fox body uh, EFI stuff. Now the non HO firing order is a little bit different. So you see where they're the same through these positions here, 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 and here. So the number one, two, six, and eight cylinders are going to fire when they should. The problem is these guys right here. So essentially, what you, you could do to get closer, if, if you were trying to run the non-HO firing order cam, is you could swap the wires at position 3-5 and position 7-4. So essentially, on your distributor, which is my very crude, uh, <laughs> not so great drawing here, uh, you, could, you could take the plug wire off of here, move it to this side, take that plug wire off here, move it to that side, swap these two, swap the 7 and 4, and you would essentially get spark uh, when you're supposed to for this camshaft. So that's that's actually not that hard to solve. Now, the more important part is fueling. So then the next question is, well, could you cut off all the connectors on your injector harness and essentially extend them or shorten them uh, so that you could run the, the appropriate you know injector wire uh, when you want to? Uh, you could fix that problem too. So now you're getting spark when you need to, and you're getting fuel when you need to, to the correct cylinders for the different camshaft. So it's really easy to see why you would now think, well, if I go through that wiring change, then I'm good, right? You're not. Not on a stock computer. Because the oxygen sensors are still in play, and there's nothing you can do to fix these, these couple cylinder changes with the oxygen sensor. And here's why. So uh, essentially in this drawing, you can see I've kind of color coded these. Uh, blue would be the, the cylinders on the passenger side of the motor, one, two, three, four. Uh, and they go to the bank one oxygen sensor. And then in orange, we have cylinders five, six, seven, eight. That's your driver's side of your engine. And obviously you have the uh, bank two oxygen sensor there. So when you make all these changes, the computer is still there to try to adjust fuel based on whatever it reads. So it says, you know, if I'm reading uh, this oxygen sensor and I think we're running lean, I'm going to add more fuel to whatever cylinders fire when I expect these to. So essentially what you would then have is in this firing order, you would have uh, in a factory one. So let's start with factory. So factory firing order, the first cylinder, is cylinder number one, that's going to be bank one. Cylinder number three is also bank one. Cylinder seven is bank two. Cylinder two is bank one. Six is bank two. Five is bank two. One and two. Okay. So again, looking at the, the correct original firing order, whatever cylinder is in this position, this position, this position, and this position, it understands that those are the cylinders on this side of the engine that go to this O2. So if this O2 sensor says we're lean and it wants to add fuel, it's going to add them to whatever is in these positions. And same with the other bank, it'll do whatever's on the, the number two positions. So the problem is you're going to end up with a screwed up situation where on bank one, if it thinks there's a problem, it's going to theoretically fix that problem by adding or removing fuel for two of the cylinders, but it's going to falsely do it for the other two and it's going to end up sending a fuel change to the other bank. 
And same thing with the passenger side, two of the cylinders are gonna get the fuel adjustment that makes sense based on that oxygen sensor. And two of those cylinders, it's gonna send that fuel adjustment to the other side. So what you have is you end up with two of the cylinders on each side sending mixed signals to the other side and it's going to make whatever lean or rich condition that was already there even worse and then it's going to try to fix it the fix isn't going to work because two of the cylinders are out of whack and it's going to constantly end up throwing the wrong amounts of fuel to four of your cylinders on your engine and it's going to run like complete crap and it's not what you want to do so this is kind of weird and, and hard to explain but that's why you can't simply switch the wiring now if you go into the tune, if you actually are doing a custom tune, then yeah, there's there's a setting. You can tell it straight up what's my firing order. You can pick whatever firing order you want. Uh, and then you can tell it which of the cylinders are you know, outputting to the bank one sensor, which of the cylinders are outputting to the bank two sensor, and then everything works the way it should. And you could, I mean, if somebody made up some new firing order for these, you know, that would work too. Uh, but, but you can't get there just, just with rewiring because again, two of your cylinders on each side are going to have to get swapped and there's no way to correct that in your O2. So unless you're planning to run the car open loop and you know unplug the O2 sensors and you know hope that your tune is on point, I mean I guess you could do that. Uh, you know if you're running stock injectors, stock mass air meter, that kind of deal, you might actually get away with that. It, it might work out close, but if, if it's any kind of modified combo at all, um, don't run open loop. I mean, there's a reason EFI exists. There's a reason oxygen sensors exist. Uh, there's a reason that you want that adaptive learning in play. So, um, I don't know, guys. I probably just added more confusion, but uh, hopefully this explanation makes some level of sense. Uh, and if you want me to, you know, answer any additional questions, throw them down in the comments. Happy to help. That's it, guys. Good luck. Godspeed.